Hey, that's me. <laughs> I'm Wayne Vota, and I'm up here to ask you a question. What's the world that you want to see in 2030 or 2050? How do you want it to be? What do you want it to look like? And I ask this question because I'm concerned, I'm worried, I'm afraid, uh, because I wonder about our future when we produce things like the Yo app. $1.5 million for a software developer to create an app that just says, yo. That's it, nothing else. $1.5 million. I think about that, and I think about the millions, hundreds of millions, maybe the billions that we're spending on things like a yo app. And I think, what could we be doing with that money that's better? And I think about things like, oh, I don't know, improving the world's education, changing young minds, bringing them into the future, changing their entire lives. I think about improving healthcare in the way in which we can improve lives, extend lives, save lives. I think about agriculture, how we could lift farmers up out of poverty into the middle class, changing their lives, their family lives, their community lives. 1.5 million, hundreds of millions, billions. This is where I think really we could be moving forward and things that we could be doing to improve the lives of people around the world. Because I think about 2030 and I think about the future and I actually think, famous quote, the future's already here, it's just not evenly distributed. I mean, we have concepts like um, Africa coming online, countries in Africa coming online with mobile phones. They're skipping the laptop, they're skipping the desktop, they're going right to mobiles. How is that gonna change their lives? How should we be thinking about how it could change our lives? How are we already addicted to our mobiles? And I think about uh, Asia, which is already moving into virtual reality today, much less 2030. What are they seeing? What are they doing? How can we make sure that they're working on things that are better than just the next vapid video game? How can we think about uh, what India is going through right now, demonetization? They're actually reducing the amount of physical currency in the country to move people to online payments, to electronic payments, to mobile money. How many people here even use mobile money, right? And yet at the same time, here in the US, we've got Bitcoin here, there, kind of on the fringes. Anybody want to get paid in Bitcoin? Raise your hand. Anybody? Anybody? One in the back? All right. Where would you spend it, though? That's the problem, right? Yeah, hold on to it. <laughs> Today. <laughs> and the Dutch love those bulbs. And then I think about Amazon Prime Air, right? Amazing idea. One day we'll get it, one day, one day. Guess what? Tanzania, Rwanda already has blood deliveries being delivered by drones to rural health clinics today. $1.5 million. Or we could be looking at our own economy that's very much fossil fuel based and be looking at how China is going to be all electric cars by 2030. And yet, we build the Yo app. You can tell I don't like the Yo app. <laughs> Because, you know, I think about the Yo app, and I think, you know, I got kids. Uh, in 2030, most people in this room will have children or grandchildren or some variation of that. And what do I want my kids to look at me and think about me and ask me in 2030? Do they want to see somebody who said, you know, India has a huge problem with open defecation, open urination. People are pooping where others are swimming and drinking, right? Maybe someone could come along and build a solution to that so that the Ganges River could be clean enough to bathe in and swim in again. Now, I actually point this out because I don't work in WASH. It's not my specialty. But the idea that there are so many opportunities out there, so many different ways to spend our effort that's not the Yo app. <laughs> I really hate this. Can you tell? Because. <laughs> And I say this not just for youth or people young in their careers. I moved into this career, into international development, back when I had hair at the young, spry age of 30. Uh, and I wanted to change. I came out of the accounting field, a nice, glorious career with Price Waterhouse Coopers. God, it hurts to say that way. That. But anyway, um, so the change can be affected at any point in your career. And that's why I challenge you to think about what change do you want to see in the world today, and what world do you want to live in in 2030? This is the world I want to live in. A world where uh, a Filipino or an Indian has amazing tools, the same tools we do, 
and able to affect change in their own country, improve their own country's lives, improve the education, the healthcare, the agriculture in their country, and not making a Yo app. Thank you.